In this video, we're going to take a look at the Media Vault. We can get to it by clicking this icon, or we can come up to My Account from any page within the system and click the Media Vault here. Either way, it takes you to the same place. So once you're into the Media Vault, you'll see there's four tabs across the top, one for each type of content, audio files, images, documents, and videos. Underneath that are some selection tools, like if I want to select all. Uh, in fact, let's look at the Images tab. That'll be a little more obvious. So select all. We'll select everything that's here. And then I can archive all of those. Or I could just select the ones I want, and I can archive them. And I'll show you that in just a moment. I could also add them to a media kit that we have created. And I'll show you that pretty soon as well. We can search by title or tag, or if we favorite, and you can see these two here are favorited just by clicking them. That's how that's done. And we can search by those. So let's start with a title. Uh, I'm just going to type in Insta for Instagram, and I'll hit Apply. So these are some images that have Instagram in their title, and we can take those away and see everything again just like that. Media Kits link takes you to the Media Kits. And the View Archive is the archive that we talked about before. So for example, I can put something in the archive that I don't want to see anymore. And to do that, I would click these icons. And you can see the little help text underneath that says Archive. I can also click Multiples and click this button to archive selected. Let's do that. And it always lets you know uh, what you're about to do. So those two files are gone. And they've gone into the archive. So we can view the archive right here. And there they are. Now if we want to put one back, we can come to this little restore icon. And that restores it back to the live media vault. So I will do that. Um, I can also click both of these and click restore selected. So we, you can see now it's restore selected. And uh, But I'll just do one first just so you can see one at a time. We're still in the archive. And it shows you, okay, there's one left. I'll go ahead and move that back too for now. And so now it says you have no archive photos. So remember, right now we're in the archive. So we can go back to the Media Vault right here or right here, either way. I'm going to switch back to the images again. If you look down the list, you'll see these MKs. MKs, if you see that designation, it means you have put it into a media kit. Media kits are virtual folders. So basically the same image can be in one or multiple. See if we have any multiples here. We don't right now. But let's show you how that works. I can select this image. And just for the heck of it, I will put it in the Amboy Media Kit. So it now shows that it's in two media kits, Amboy and the Dancing on a Cloud media kit, because it was already in that as well. So it'll show you the multiple media kits that you've put this into, which is a big important feature, because every asset or every file can be put into multiple virtual folders that we call media kits. This becomes really important later on when we go to add images to various products. Um, like email flyers, newsletters, uh, social media posts. In order to find those files real easily, we'll be looking in the media kits. So we don't always have to see this great big list. That will become evident in future videos. As we move across, this column, the preset column, shows you files that you've uploaded or files that were generated, meaning you generated them, in the system and what preset you used to create them. 
it tells you if it's uh, what type or format that it is, JPEG, PNG, or if we switch to audio, if it's a WAV or MP3 and so on. If we're in the images tab, we'll see the pixel dimensions. Whereas if we're in audio, we'll see duration. So these are all context aware so that you see information that's relevant to what you're looking at. Moving on across, in this case, it'll show you the pixel dimensions, the file size, and then we come to the actions. And that's edit, favorite. So again, you just click that. I'll unclick it to unfavorite. And now it's not favorited anymore. Download it, share it. And sharing works uh, very simply, uh, you just click here and you will get the link, which you can copy right here, and then close it. But it's in your clipboard now so that you could paste it into an email. This brings up another thing about the privacy and security of the files in the Media Vault. No one can get to these files unless you send it to them. And when you do send it to them through the share feature, they will only be able to download that for 24 hours. That's again so we can protect your copyrighted materials and not have the have them widely available. You control that. Over next to that then is the archive button and delete. And delete uh, will do just that. It deletes the file from the system. Well, that's it for this quick tip on the Media Vault. If you found this video helpful and informative, and you're watching it on YouTube, please click the like and subscribe buttons. We also recommend clicking the bell. Doing so means you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Lastly, if you're not already a member of Caboodle Media, we invite you to check us out. We're located at www.caboodlemedia.com. That's Caboodle with a K. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.